All right, man, talk to talk. You know what it is. 12 o'clock show. How y'all doing out there? Thank y'all for being here with me. I know this is, uh, this is an afternoon that y'all don't have to spend with me, but uh, thank you for accepting my uh, request for you to watch. You know what I'm saying? So today's episode, we're going to be talking about Adam 22 and um, academics calling in and comparing Kendrick fans to Kamala fans and uh, Drake fans to Trump supporters. But that was a pretty interesting way of putting it. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into that. You know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful single ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Over there. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content and it's absolutely free. So if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, cue card is in the description. I know I ain't going to probably be getting no donations for a little bit because people hated my take on uh, Jaguar Right. But it is what it is. Thank y'all for watching. And um, yeah, let me know where you're from. Um, you know, and um, they call me a hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Um, yeah, man. And um, this is the place where we agree to disagree. It's not a bunch of yes people over here. You have a, a take. You know, if you feel some, if you think I'm wrong, just say I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'll watch you. I'll listen to you. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. If I'm not, then going ham on you niggas. So, yeah, man, let's get to it, man. We be back. You know what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Academics. Yo, I forgot I, I was watching the live stream like 20, like about 10 minutes behind, so I just seen you say my <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but what do you think of my assessment that the Drake side of the Republicans and the Kendrick side of the Democrats? Hey, yo, I just seen that, and, I, and I'm like, yo, listen, man, no matter what they say about Adam, man, this is why I do watch you, because you are logical. I actually agree with that. Hold <sighs> I hate to break this to y'all, but I disagree with that. And I'm explaining to y'all why. That's a bad take. That's a bad assessment of Kendrick and Drake. And it's the reason why I say that that's a bad take. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of the reasons why is because... One of the reasons why is because if you line it up... And I hate to say this, but... And I hate that I have to put it to this way. If you line it up, it would be actually the opposite. Because Kendrick, Kendrick, uh, I would say Kendrick would be more like uh, conservatives. Because that's his, that's, if you look at it, he's about God, he's about religion, he's about all that. And I hate to say this, but liberals are not really about all that. Liberals are about progressivism. They're about all that other stuff. So it really doesn't match up. Now I know it's I know it's kind of like what they're saying. It's they kind of put it in it that they kind of put in it that way because uh, it just seems like that because everybody that you would say is a Kendrick fan is probably a Democrat, right? And everybody that's a Drake fan would probably be a Democrat or Republican, I guess, but. You got to flip it on the other way because Kendrick stands for morals and values. And I'm not saying that Trump does, but I am saying that if you had to pick between the two sides of uh, the ideology of it, I'm saying conservative and liberalism, Kendrick would have probably lined up more as a conservative you know what I'm saying? Because we be more of a conservative person, even though I think he doesn't really, he doesn't really, well, not again, I don't think he ever said anything about conservative. I think he said capitalism, but that goes for both parties. And then you got uh, liberalism would be more progressive, more open, more stuff. That would be more on Drake's side. So I disagree with that take. Wholeheartedly. That was mm. a great. I, when you said it, I'm like, fuck, I wish I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I'm, I'm going to tell you why you're right. Because, like, I mean, exactly what you expounded about, you know, um, 
when it comes to like everybody who likes Kendrick, it's like, oh, let's, you know, it's more of like a Democrat. By the way, they frame everybody who supports Drake as like how they talk about Trump supporters. You mm. know what I'm saying? Now, like, now he reaching now. Now he reaching. See, they see they said something that really doesn't make sense, and they're trying to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because it sounds good on paper. It sounds good, but when you dig deep into it, it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not even it doesn't even line up right. It just sounds good because there's two parties and one of the parties you would say that more that guy leans more toward this way and the other party would be like you can't really even say Drake leans more towards any because Drake is not from America. So and I know that that's really not the argument but it's just like which way would Drake lean? You would say Drake Drake you would say Drake is a conservative? I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. So your argument doesn't make sense. I, if, if anything, I would probably lean more towards uh, 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 Kendrick fans being more uh, being more uh, uh, leaning towards conservative. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's just a, it's a weird argument. That's a weird argument. Yo, you guys are. You guys are nuts. You guys are supporting this other bullshit. It's like, you're completely right with that, even though, you know what I mean? I just don't think that's the same correlation, but I, it's exactly how people see the hip-hop. Mm, yeah, and I think that the counter-narrative... Like, come on, bro. You just you disagreed and then said you don't see the correlation. Like, what, what are we talking about here, man? Like, again, you do just say things just to say them. I'm I'm under the impression that y'all say things to say, and I got a lot to say about Adam Twenty Two, him, Vlad, and the boy uh, Brandon Buckingham. Uh, it, uh, there's some things that I need to say about them, but let's keep it going. To a lot of the sort of elitism that has come along with what Kendrick has been putting out there is basically like y'all are you y'all are idealists who want music that isn't inherently reacting with the people to be more popular than the music that actually is reacting with the people. Whereas if you're a Drake fan, you're just acknowledging like, yeah, all this shit that is really, you know, uh, apparently extremely popular with people. We think it is good. And we think that the fact that it is popular is enough of a reason for us to praise it. Then, then Drake would be, Drake would be the Democrats then. <laughs> Because that's how they think. Everything you just said explains Drake's side. Doesn't explain Kendrick. Everything you said, if you're talking about core values and core, the core values would go towards the conservatives. That's just 100% facts. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that liberals don't have it, but a lot of people who, who are living in liberal, uh, how would I say, they're living in liberal uh, cities, 90% of them are conservatives. They just vote for Democrats. Because if you ask them their, their, how they feel about certain things, they're going to side with conservatism, even though they don't, they don't, you know what I'm saying? Some of them, but most of them are not atheists. Most of them believe in Christ or a religion, a higher power. A lot of liberals don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? Not all of them, but a good portion of them don't put that first. Conservatives put God first. A lot of black people put God first. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black people want to keep their guns. A lot of black people uh, want less government. That's cons that's the conservative ideology. That's what most black people would be framed under. But they go towards liberalism because that's a traditional way of going. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to get all political about it. I'm just saying, like, that's just how it is. So when he's saying this about that's all he's explaining Drake's uh, Drake's side when he says that. You know what I mean? They want they, they want everything to be right away, like popular. Like, yeah, that's Drake's side. For sure. Even yeah. beyond our own personal For opinions. sure. I'm going to tell you why a, a uh, Kamala supporter is basically like a Kendrick fan. Because <laughs> essentially, if you are excited, and there's a bunch of people excited for Kamala, right? Right. Not realizing that maybe she wasn't a president, but she was pretty much in office for the last four years. She had a, she had a position in the administration. But again, this argument doesn't make sense. Y'all just making stuff up at this point for your boy Drake. How are you going to compare Kendrick fan to Kamala? How? That doesn't even make sense. 
How can you compare a Kendrick fan to Kamala Harris? I need to hear what he says and why he, how he's doing, how he's framing this. Administration, right? excited for Kamala, right? Right. Not realizing that maybe she wasn't a president, but she was pretty much in office for the last four years. She had a, she had a position in the administration, right? Mm. And they feel something is going to change. Just like, I'm going to be honest with you, Kendrick dropped that last song that nobody remembers. Bingo. He's like, yo, we got to change hip hop and this is going to happen. Here's the thing. Kendrick kind of says this every four years. Mm. Yeah. That's a lie. That's a blatant lie. For you to sit there and say Kendrick Kahn's that says this every four years, he does not say this every four years. What do you mean every four years? His last album was two years ago. It wasn't four years ago. And before that, it was five years. And then before that, it was two years, then two years, then two years. So that's completely wrong. Then you sitting here saying that the last song he did was forgettable. No, everybody forgot about it. He released one song, one, where's the camera? One song. Kendrick released one song. Drake released 16, I can't put up 16 <laughs> fingers, but 16 songs. Y'all talking about Kendrick, one song being forgettable, but y'all talking about that song. Drake released 16 of those songs. So if you're going to say that he released one song that's forgettable, but Drake released 16 songs and then you're trying to compare him to Kamala. That doesn't make sense. That's a stupid argument. You know Every four years. Like, <laughs> you know, um, Y'all really try to shit on Lush's point, but Lush was making a great point. <laughs> Thank you. Ag. No, no, I'm serious. He was making a great point about um, like maybe potentially Kendrick gatekeeping. Yo, so <laughs> Kendrick has the pop out features, you know, gangs this and third, and then on the next song, he says, yo, people who is doing bullshit in the communities, he's kind of almost describing gangs. He's saying, we got to get those people out of there. He you see how, you see how, and you see how these niggas are. This is why, this is why I don't respect these dudes. This is exactly why. Because what they'll do is, they like to cherry pick shit when it comes to Kendrick, and they like to slide things in there. Because he's, Kendrick said it in the song. He said it in the song. You hate the man that I represent. You know what I'm saying? All you dudes. And he got y'all scared. He got y'all scared. Because y'all know he's talking about y'all. So when you say stuff like, well, he has this, he has a, he, you, you, you definitely critique Kendrick's lyrics because you say, well, he has a joint with the, the pop out concert. And then he comes around and he says, well, in the song he says that, so he potentially is talking about all the gangs. Yeah, he did say that. And you know, watching a party die, you know what that actually means? Because half of y'all don't. He's basically saying, bringing the gangs together, we could get rid of all that. That was the point of it. But y'all, it flew way over your head because y'all idiots. Like Adam 22, you're an idiot. You're just a straight idiot. It ain't no, there's no way around that. You're just dumb. You know what I'm saying? You're, a, you're just a dumb white boy who, who got a platform. That's just that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's disgusting to see how people praise you and, and go through all this as if you're some real dude. You're a dumb dude, bro. You, Vlad, Brandon, y'all all stupid white boys. It just so happens to come into to come into uh uh the black the black uh, um culture with y'all bullshit. This is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's bullshit doesn't necessarily support what he represents right we don't see him feature with other conscious rappers that are maybe like in the realm of his you know what i mean if if they don't have a name yeah where's the so Russell feature where's the Russell feature k dot no, i agree with that i you know, i agree with that wholehearted mm. but again this is this is the thing and for everybody who likes kamala it, it's about the feeling of what they're saying that makes you feel good rather than actually believe in things are going to change like right now bro, i think a lot of people support kamala come on bro come on bro come on bro yeah, yeah yeah again you can't link you cannot link if if you was to ask me and i'm gonna be honest if you was to ask me who would who would i would say kendrick is more like i definitely wouldn't say kamala harris 100 percent wouldn't say that 
It just sounds good to y'all. That's it. It sounds good to y'all. That's what it's all about. And and you trying to compare Drake to Trump, like, oh, well, Drake's like Trump. How? How is Drake like Trump? How? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I just don't subscribe to what y'all saying because I think y'all, what y'all saying, it sounds dumb. And y'all just trying to make it sound logical. This just sounds stupid. You know what I'm saying? It sounds stupid. It's cute, but it sounds stupid. But if, the thing is, she makes us feel good. Mm. I don't know if it's, she's going to do anything that's going to make it good, right? Um, Trump doesn't make us feel good. And those people who like Kendrick, it, it kind of reminds them of that, yo, we're going back to this culture where bars matter. Yo, bars matter. We, we're going to go to this ethical culture where drill music is out of here. Like, he's kind of almost talked about that. What's that line he has in so how does this relate to Kamala? Because she's definitely not trying to go back. She's a progressive. She's trying to progress past everything. This is why I say you niggas don't know anything. Y'all just stay saying anything. Like how, how you can't, Kamala Harris is not trying to bring, bring back, <laughs> bring back the, 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 the old, the old guard. No, she's a progressive. She's trying to move forward. You know what I'm saying? But but for you guys to try to compare it, to, that's so stupid. That's dumb. That's a dumb take. And then you're like, oh, well, he's trying to bring bars back and he's trying to bring lyrics back. As if that's a bad thing. I don't understand you niggas. Every one of y'all say y'all want great music. For the last five years, music from the rap music, majority of rap music have been has been fucking terrible. The majority of it has been corny or terrible. Why do you think it's not number one or, or in the top 10 anymore? Because they see that there's no worth in it anymore. There's no value in it anymore. No one's doing anything of any significant that people could say, yeah, this is, this is fire. But Kendrick, and maybe a couple other artists. But outside of that, y'all want Drake to keep the dumb shit going. But that's not going to work anymore. Just like somebody said, somebody said, yeah, Drake, uh, Kendrick has to keep up. Now he has to, he's in a different bracket now. Now he has to keep up. Well, Drake got to keep up too, because if it changes, what do you think he's going to do? He has to keep up too. And from what I'm seeing, Kendrick is still lapping him. He dropped a joint. The one joint that y'all complaining about that's so corny. In four hours, it, it passed all, it streamed past all the Drake songs that he dropped, all the 16 songs he dropped. So what are we arguing about here? What's, what's going on here? So he says, um, he says like pillow talking, calling, uh, I'm causing like culture wars or neighborhood wars. And he was kind of almost talking about the culture, which is, hey, listen, music is a 360 view. Whatever you, whatever someone says in music, they go on an interview, they go on No Jumper, they talk about, but their life reflects that, and it's all like this 360 view of, yeah, if they're making drill music, yeah, something might happen in real life. He basically was saying, let's abolish it. If you can't stop sucking on these toxic puffers, you should know what you're actually sucking on. It's just cancer and battery acid, but don't worry. We have the perfect alternative. Introducing Pure Bar. Except... I don't think he, yo, he just blowing hot, hot air. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like what evidence do you have that Kendrick is just blowing hot air? What evidence does he have of that? What, like it, it, like his whole career, you just said every, you said every four years he come out and do this, right? That's what you said every four years. So if he comes out every four years and do it, don't you think it's not hot air? Don't you think he really means it? Like, what hot air is he blowing? Because to me, it just seems like y'all just looking for any and everything to chop the man down. I mean, so you're so you okay with gang violence? So you okay with drill music and drill artists coming on with no jumper and talk about how they kill how they kill other people, or kill other drill artists or whoever, and, and they smoking on this person? You you okay with that? Y'all, yeah, y'all okay with that? Because that's what makes you, that's, that's cool. That's what y'all okay with. This is why I don't fuck with Adam 22. Because this is the type of shit that they do. Exactly why. 
I don't respect him at all. I don't respect him, Vlad, or Brandon Buckingham. I don't fuck with none of them. Because this is the type of shit they do. They okay with black people killing black people. It's all right to them. It's no problem. You come on my show and rap about, talk about offing somebody. That's cool. I ain't going to stop that. As long as you're making good drill music, yeah, we cool with it. And yeah, exactly. Because he could be doing a lot more to like institute the type of rap scene that he is apparently advocating Shit, for. He didn't. What type of bullshit is that? So let me get this right. What 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 should okay, so this is what I mean, right? With you goofy ass niggas. This is why I, this is why I, I can't fuck with these niggas, bro. I, I swear when I be when I get to a million subscribers, I'm I'm Hopefully they going because I'm dropping the hammer on these niggas. I swear to you, I'm not playing. I'm dropping the hammer on these dudes. So let me get this right. Y'all want to hold Kendrick at a certain standard. You know what I'm saying? To be this, this, this Messiah, Jesus Christ like figure, even though he got a song saying, I'm not your fucking savior. Even though he has a song like that, but you niggas don't listen. Y'all want to put him in this position where he has to, and this is this how this is another reason why I say that you motherfuckers lean more towards the left than the right because y'all looking for handouts. But you're gonna sit here and say that he's not he's not out here doing anything. I don't see him doing anything, but you won't say that to these other artists. You won't say that to these other artists. You won't say none of that to them. You know what I'm saying? And and then on top of that, y'all make excuses for Drake. Y'all make excuses. Drake's a black man, right? I never one time seen Drake talk about black people's oppression or even try to help black people out of the situation he in. He actually made fun of it. He actually made fun of it. So don't sit here and say some goofy shit like that. Well, yeah, well, he don't, he don't help people, the people that he don't help. How do you know? How the fuck do you know? There's, there's interviews with dudes. There's interviews with dudes literally said that yeah, Kendrick helped me and my family. He definitely did. I'm on the front of of, 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 of the album cover. They got me on the front. I was paid. I got paid. So don't sit here and fucking say that. What the fuck are you talking about? He didn't pop out. He ain't helped nobody from the pop out as of late. We haven't seen nobody pop out with a Kendrick feature. Mm. Another dumb nigga. Just another dummy. What do you mean? So let me get this right. Because, because they was all at the pop-out, he has to do a, a, a feature with all of them? That's stupid, dog. That's a dumb take. Oh, my God, bro. That's a stupid take, bro. Do Drake do a future with do, do Drake do a future feature with everybody he hangs around? No, he doesn't. He he, he actually steals stuff from people, bro. Like, come on, bro. This is crazy. And any, if, if, if he were to put out a project and, and give a verse to any of those dudes who are up there, their their career is all of a sudden, like, made off of that one 100%. feature. And we don't really see that. Matter of fact, we never even got that Not Like Us remix we were promised featuring L.A. rappers. What happened with that? Who, who, what? Yo, who said that? That was, a, that was a rumor. It wasn't true. Even I fell into it. We was all waiting for it. But nobody, he never came out and said that. Did he confirm that? What are you talking about? Get this is it, guy, and by the way, is it, have we is ever seen it? a rapper who basically used, and again, what I'm saying use, I'm not saying like the predatorial, but he used culture, he used Ooh. traditions, he used, you know, um, the togetherness and, and the collectiveness and the unity of even some of the gangs within L.A., to get to the spot, obviously he did his own thing with, with, with the song and, you know, um, a lot of people say he wanted to beef, but here's the thing. Oh, he no has more. zero <laughs> pressure. Like, even the guys in there, no one's like, yo, why you ain't tweet my album out? Yo, why you ain't just throw me up on the story? Why can't I? Yo, there's zero requirements. <laughs> Not, yeah. Nothing. No yo, finger. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Yo, I never seen, I never seen so many men act like bitches and butt hurt off of some guy losing a battle. I never seen nothing like this, bro. This shit is amazing. It sh I, I always say this shit should be studied. This is crazy. So y'all getting on here saying y'all complaining about, first of all, 
Kendrick Lamar doesn't post nothing. He doesn't post anything. And Kendrick Lamar has always been a solo act all his, all his career. Nothing's ever good enough for you niggas. So him putting people on the stage at the pop out, now that's not good enough. Now he has to have them all on his album. Or he has to be on their album. Because it's never good enough. Nothing's ever good enough. No matter what he does. You know what I'm saying? He's been rapping for the culture. He's been doing things for the culture. He's been doing things. He brought all these people out to, the, to, to not like us. For some reason, he used all those people. That's what you're saying. He used the culture. That's your new narrative now. Your new narrative now is Kendrick used the culture. Yeah, he used the culture. It's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are y'all talking about? Play. Hip hop history. Yeah. So usually when you get to that spot where you have all the Infinity Stones, people start with the what you didn't do for them as opposed to, oh, I don't need nothing from you. I've never seen the, I don't know if he, if he feels it behind the scenes, like the handouts. Like, he's the only rapper I've never seen people expect handouts or expect him to repay any type of loyalty to. Because right. it's such a blessing to even be associated with this, the name of this, you know, bestowed presence of Kendrick Lamar. But we've all seen that dynamic over there. <laughs> yo, I love how these white boys just try to, yo, I'm telling you, bro, this shit is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. How you guys, how these guys talk about Kendrick, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like, it's like they will say all this. You know what I'm saying? Because they know what time it is. They know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? They know what time it is. They, they, it, first of all, none of them probably ever going to meet Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? So they can say whatever they feel. They can say whatever they want. But they know what time it is. That's why they say the things that they say. Oh, he's, a, he's like a divine being. It's like because people worship the dude. People look up to him. But they do the same thing for your boy, too. It's just the difference is people don't really, they really don't, really don't feel that way about him. They just like, they just like his music. That's it. That's it. They don't have a loyalty love for him. See, Kendrick, they like his music and they loyal and love him. Drake is just, oh, he's just Drake. He's just a star. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's what it is. Because I could guarantee you if they both walked in the room, we're respectable people in the room. Most people are going to walk towards Kendrick. They're not going to walk towards Drake. Just the bottom line. Here's that when you're around an artist who's really, truly lit, people will be so thankful to even be in the same room as him. Like most of those artists on Opium never got a Cardi feature, and they're so thankful regardless because Cardi is so huge that they're just. Yo, this guy here, Adam 22 is a stupid nigga, bro. I, I don't, I'm telling y'all right now, he is dumb. He's dumb. Like, he's dumb. I'm surprised he got to where he's at today. He is stupid. I could tell you, I'll listen to what he's saying, and I could tell you that he's stupid. I could tell you he's stupid. What he's saying is so shallow and so, so dumb. It's so shallow. For him to say some of the th stuff that he just said, it's very shallow thinking. That's, that's so shallow. I'm talking like baby pool shallow thinking. Like stupid shit. Like, like, like what? And, and, and academics, he's a, little, he's a little smart, but he has no common sense. He don't know how to read the room. Academics is the type of person, he likes to push all the buttons, and then when something happens, he try to act like, he, like nothing happens. You know exactly what's going on. So Adam 22 says that. I want to see what academics say. Because he should easily say, nah, nah, nah. That's not really what it is, bro. Thankful as fuck to even be associated with him in any way that they, they, they don't even hold him to the same standard that they would expect of like a normal human being. Facts. Where you got little baby that features on all this all this shit. Cardi sharing the platform with them. Like, I'm telling you, Kendrick, yo, if Kendrick right yeah. now, I, I promise you, yo, you know, you guys have, you know, there's so much different styles and sounds and pockets of like, you know, um, LA, greater LA or like Cali that he could just like instantly make popular. Like, this is amazing. Yep. Bro, he could snap a finger. This is like Thanos with all five of his big stones. And he's like, uh, I'll wait till Super Bowl till my album drops. Like, nothing. <laughs> like, if you ask why, you know, 
we haven't seen a little bit more progress on the West Coast, you got to blame Kendrick a little bit. But here's the thing. Mm. <laughs> Yo, this shit is laughable, man. I'm telling you, bro, I understand exactly why you niggas hate academics. Oh, my God, bro. I understand why people do not like him, bro. I really do. I understand why people don't like Adam 22. I understand why people hate Vlad. I understand why. I understand why they don't like this, these dudes, bro. Because they say some of the craziest shit. And they and they they do a lot of speculating. And it's, it makes me mad because there are some good podcasters out there that should be on the same level as these goofy ass niggas. And I'm one of them. I'm telling you, I'm one of them. And it's so crazy to me how these goofy motherfuckers is at the top. I feel, you know what I'm saying? When they were saying this stuff about Kendrick and how he feel, he was mad. I feel the same fucking way. Because these dudes do not represent what we represent. They don't. These dudes do not represent what we represent. They represent the niggery. That's what they represent. All the niggery. All the goofy shit, the dumb shit. That's what they represent. They don't represent the real black man. They don't. They don't represent the real black culture. They represent the niggery black culture, the nigger culture. And they platform that shit. And we still watch these motherfuckers. We still, we still give them, we still give them donations. These goofy niggas who do nothing for black people. Adam 22, Lush One, and this guy here. They do nothing for black people. Nothing for black people. But yet and still, we sitting here and we watch these goofy niggas. It's not right. You know what I'm saying? We, should, we, should, we have to get rid of these dudes and not in it that way. You know what I'm saying. We have to, we have to cut them off. They should not be invading black culture. They shouldn't be in black culture. They should be out of here. All of them. Academics, uh, uh, Adam 22, uh, this dude, um, Vlad, um, what's his name? The other bull. Other bull, for the other bull, I remember his name. Brandon, the bull, Brandon. You know what I'm saying? And the other dude just said, I'm sorry, but not sorry to L.A., because his name, I remember that dude's name right now. <laughs> yeah, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I was thinking about the Jesus thing too. They treat him like Jesus, right? Like, because, okay, that's what, that's one thing I always say when I have an argument about religion is I'll say, listen, in the Bible, it's full of all these examples of God making his presence so unbelievably obvious to people yeah. that of course they're going to believe in God. My entire lifetime, I've never seen anything that overtly made me believe that Jesus was real. And it's like the, but people who are, are Christians will say, you're expecting too much of Jesus if you think that he's just going to make it obvious to you that he exists. And people are like that with Kendrick too, where it's like, we, we feel like it would make sense for him to take part in some pretty obvious, like, examples or, or or symbolic gestures to make it clear but didn't you just comp you just compared him to to kamala and liberals liberals don't believe all that that's the conservatives that believe that but that's just that's another argument it's clear that he really wants hip-hop to change in this way and people think that he's so he's so important that you can't even ask for the bare minimum from facts him. kendrick ain't getting nobody yep. pregnant without fucking him period you mm -hmm. feel me like hey, let me tell you this I got to give Kendrick credit God, because God. Kendrick has somehow con uh, uh, confused us and lied to us that he's the anti-industry. He's still the fight, the power. I'm protested in front of the police, stepping on people's necks. When in reality, it, I could make a point that Kendrick kind of seems like in the large scheme of things, like he's part of the program. He, he mm -hmm. just has the people's support. Like, I mean... The, like the dude who usually has the talking points of Kendrick is the guy that gets none of the goddamn like opportunities. He's performing at the Super Bowl, right? <laughs> he's performing at the Super Bowl. Yo, he's at every every Grammy award for the last like five years. You have to realize the reason why even Drake stopped submitting his music because they would just give Kendrick a thing before this shit started. Mm. And Kendrick, you know you got like three. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Why you think that is though? <laughs> Why you think that is? Why? Why is they giving Kendrick all these awards? <laughs> I'm gonna stop submitting my music because they just giving Kendrick all the awards. Why? Why? <laughs> is it because Kendrick music is better? Is that what it is? Because I think that's what it is, nigga. I think the reason why he beats Drake all the time is because his mucus is better. His music is just better. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to say Drake is the most popular guy and he has all the hits, right? But Kendrick makes better music. That's why he wins all the awards. You can't have both, right? Right? So if Drake could have all the number ones and he could be the most, the number one stream guy, but then Kendrick comes out and beats him when it comes to, to accolades and awards and he beats him through awards, then, what, then we got an argument, right? Because that's what y'all always saying about Drake. Y'all always saying that he's number one. He has all the number one hits, but he has no accolades. He has some, but not like Kendrick. So well, I'm going to stop sitting, man. I'm standing up to the Grammys and I'm going to stop sitting and meet my music because, because I, they, they're giving all the awards to Kendrick. Why? Because every time he comes out, he does something of, of some type of significance that people can latch on to and remember. And y'all can't stand it. Y'all hate the fact that he's doing the Super Bowl. Your boy supposedly had turned it down, remember? But y'all hate the fact that he's doing that. And he's more, he's before Drake. He did it before Drake. And y'all can't stand it. It's fucking y'all up. It's fucking y'all up. This week. All right, cool, cool. So again, it's it's interesting how Kendrick has convinced us that he is anti-industry, while every industry facet that recognizes hip hop holds him up to a a level and awards him and compliments him for being, you know, this like deity, like it was like God. And that okay, that's 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 a super opinionated opinion opinion about it. And on top of that. I see exactly what you try to do. You try to slide that in there as if a good artist can't be at the top. That's basically what you're saying. You're saying like, well, if he's all this, then he don't supposed to be popular. He don't supposed to be at the top. He's supposed to be at the bottom. How is it that he's at the top? How is it that he's there in all the industry? He's at the, he's the, he's in all the industry people looking up to him because he's not just a rapper dude who had, He's not a rapper. He's an artist. That's what y'all not understanding. You niggas still trying to put Kendrick in his rap category. He's not a rapper, bro. He's an artist. That's it. Drake's a pop star. Drake's not a rapper. Kendrick is more than a hip hop star, bro. He's much more than that. And even y'all saying that because y'all feel the same way, too. That's the greatest trick that Kendrick ever played was convincing the world that in order to be a Drake fan, you also had to basically be anti-progress, uh, uh, anti, uh, uh, you're, you have to be basically like pro ignorance in hip hop. He's turned himself into a symbol of everything that is good in hip hop while realistically doing and living very little of that. Well, and that's the craziest part. <laughs> Fuck you know that. <laughs> Yo, you niggas is wild. How the fuck do you know that? And again, you niggas don't listen to shit. The man Kendrick has a song where he says, I'm not your savior. And he talks about it. He talks about it. And y'all on here saying that he lives little of it. He said it in Black of the Berry. I'm the biggest hypocrite since 2015. When I finish this, you niggas will know exactly what I mean. He literally said that he's a hypocrite. He said this. So you can't say nothing to him because he ain't saying I'm not perfect either. But yet and still, y'all trying to put this on him. It's crazy. Let me finish this up, man. We can get out of here.
is he's basically, like you said, the Trump Kamala comparison. Now, if you're a Trump supporter, you're a racist. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. You know, it's the same exact trick. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And, and we've and, been watching the Republicans do that our whole lives, where it's like, oh, you support George W. Bush? Well, he's a hate monger. Right. And it's like, years t- have no, gone fuck by. Him being a hate and monger. it's kind of hard to justify that opinion. It's like, you go back and you watch a video of George Bush, and you'll be like, why the fuck did we all believe that this guy was this racist nincompoop? And, and I- these niggas is dumb. They're dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end that right there. Y'all can watch the rest of it. These niggas is stupid. Niggas is dumb. It's like it's to me. It's like Adam Twenty Two. You know what I'm saying? Brandon Buckingham, the bull. Uh, uh, not Sneeko, but the other nigga. I cannot remember that nigga name right now. And I not, definitely don't like that dude. Aiden Ross. Yeah, Aiden Ross. It's craziness, man. Yeah, so I think that uh, they try to hold Kendrick at such a higher standard than most of these artists out here. And like I said, Adam-22, Vlad, Aiden Ross, um, Bart Brandon Buckingham, and uh, uh, what's the one? Uh, Adam, what was it? Uh, academics on them. I'm going to be honest with y'all. They need to be. They need to be.